12 rounds among heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Hurricane's defense is paying off now. Way through round number one. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the Galaxy Warrior. He pushes. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. <laughs> Hurricane's right hand scores well that time. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Locks it away. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early hey, moments, your how much up. in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jam in his face and keep it there. Shorten your punches up. He came in. All right, breathe. Breathe. Deep breath. Here's some more. All right, you're good, okay? You're good out there. Now breathe for me, breathe. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. Now tighten up your punches, all right? He's looking for the... Hurricanes corner did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. You can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the last round. It's okay, let's go. Nice block by the Galaxy Warrior. Galaxy Warriors jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Move, move. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Galaxy Warriors doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Halfway through round number two. Hurricane's blocking ability is doing well for him there. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier. You did some damage. But now he's fighting with such a defensive style, it can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustment. You're going to deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab, you know, close that gap, put your punches together more, and start banging that body a little bit extra. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Nice strike after catching one by the Galaxy Warrior. Good, 
10 clicks of the talk. Hurricane's pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent doesn't. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it, you are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Throw, throw punch. And round number three is underway. Nice block by the Galaxy Warrior. That's a well-scored left hand by Hurricane. Hurricane's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Well, he may be in bad shape. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt, and now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. <laughs> Uppercut! A headshot blocked. Ace yourself! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going and end his night. You need to take it to this guy. Make it a dog fight with him, man. Close the gap and let your hands go. Please. You got to fight. You got to throw more. Whatever you want to Keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up you and keep working that jab, okay? Hurricane's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Now he ties up there. Unload! Unload! More punches! A smashing headshot by the Galaxy Warrior! Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Finish with a hook, left and right, left and right. Hurricane's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Halfway through this round here. Oh, what a huge power punch. Body shot, the left hand. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. A solid uppercut by the Galaxy Warrior. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Pace yourself. Hurricane's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Oh, 
Hook! Hook! See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Guard your head! Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him. They revived him. They massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement. Good to go. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Focus. he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him. He can counter him. Oh, what an uppercut. The Galaxy Warrior is really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Targeting a left hand to the body. Scored well up top. Up top with a quick hook. Jump on him, jump on him right now. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Very accurate two punch combo by the Galaxy Warrior. How you feeling out there? You know, you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight hands down, baby. The start of the sixth round. And he engages in the clinch. He's tired, champ. Come on, now's your chance. Uppercut. Hurricane's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Right to the belt line. Able to dismiss that body shot. Punch, punch. Hurricane's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. Here's 
a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Doubles up the jab. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Stick, stick, jab, jab, and sit down on your punches. Get in position and then sit down on the punches, all right? Throw, throw punches, okay? Don't walk into them without throwing a punch. this fight because listen to me man you, Here you go. if you want this fight you got to stay busy out there all right because you're losing this fight why because you're not throwing any so as the bell sounds we put to bed the first half of this fight and we are underway with a new it's round right. just keep moving and now just wasting away some time with that clinch Galaxy Warriors left, landing well. Another clinch. Hurricanes really impressing us here. Defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Keep moving. Keep moving. Halfway through the seventh round. Relax. Relax. Not precise at all by Hurricane. A little head hunting with the right. Hurricanes, the target of a hook. Hook, hook. Unable to score with the hook. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? There you go. You got that? You have to take a risk. Your jab works good when you use it. You don't use it. More than one punch now. More than one punch. Now you're doing good, but I need to see that combination. I need to That's see them bad. straights, all right? That's hurting this guy, because he can't take a punch. Listen. It's been a good-looking fight here as we start round number eight. Hurricane's done a good job. He's got the lead on your scorecard. However, he has gotten hit tonight. Teddy, he could use to sharpen up that defense. Yeah, well, you know what he's doing wrong? He's given opportunities. That's a good point, Joe. He's given opportunities to his opponent because he's covering up, putting those earmuffs on too much. And when he does that, he handcuffs himself, and his opponent's taking advantage. A flush hook scores well for him. Focus! Yeah, that's it! Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Hurricane's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. I 
Take it off. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Big shot there. Right to the head and right to the canvas. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? Joe, this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. He's tired, he's tired, champ. Come on, now's your chance. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Hurricane. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Solid right by the Galaxy Warrior. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some more. You good? You all right? Now breathe for me. Here you go. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round? after the way we saw him go down in that last round. Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He could get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. You gotta protect yourself. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Hurricane. The Galaxy Warriors got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's Let's given up already. And maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that. But maybe Unlock. this is his way Unlock. of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop him. That's an impactful right hand by the Galaxy Warrior. And now he's targeting upstairs. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Round comes to an end, and it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. Relax, relax. Don't need to pressure too much. It's going to come now. You got to relax and put those punches together. You're trying hard to knock this guy out with one big punch. I need to see some confidence. And now they start round number 10. The Galaxy Warriors' work rate is very high. I looked at the punch stats, and you can see that he's a busy guy. I don't think he's an effective guy, though. A lot of these aren't landing. Well, you have a reason to think that, Joe. Guess what? I agree. They're not landing.
Reach the halfway point of round 10. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Grabbing on to his opponent. The Galaxy Warriors showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got relax, away from that punch. Relax. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round 10. Don't let this guy rest. Keep working. Keep throwing. 1-1-2. One, 1-1-2. One, two. One, one, two. go. How you doing? You're still in there, you know? You still want this? Come on, take it to him. Take it to him now. He's doing everything in there, and you gotta land some of that power. The Galaxy Warriors corner gave him some sound advice just before this 11th round. Look at Teddy's scorecard. You see he's not trailing by much, but they told him, you have to have more energy. You got to put forth better effort here. I think this comes down to, do you want to have more energy? It really comes down to that in everything in life sometimes. Not can you do it, do you want to do it? If he wants to have more energy, you're going to see him go. Nice block by the Galaxy Warrior. seconds to go in this 11th round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Hurricane's making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong, but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. The left crashed home. Well, he just went from hunted. Did you see that? He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Hurricanes corner is already celebrating his opponent unable to beat the count So here we are late in the fight just coasting along and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big's gonna happen. We're gonna wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.